He was diagnosed with lung cancer, but never smoked a cigarette in his entire life. Now he's cancer-free and organizing a race that he hopes will raise money to help those fighting a similar battle. Fox 9's Iris Perez joins me now in the studio with more on this man's fight. Iris? Hey, Randy. You know when it comes to lung cancer, you either win or the disease does. And in Gary Browsen's case, he won with no chance of recurrence. His survival, now a means of hope for many just smokers anymore. 55-year-old Gary Browsen is living proof. I'd say secondhand smoke was a non-factor. So we had no radon. We had our houses checked for radon. The stigma that only smokers get lung cancer should be snuffed. And the can cancer was considered extremely aggressive. On March 15, 2011, when the lifelong athlete who watches his diet was diagnosed, I collapsed to the floor in shock and disbelief. Three separate oncologists agreed that my case was terminal. Gary's cancer confined to his left lung, the father of two boys in denial. All I wanted to hear was a, can was a story of survival. And there just wasn't, there wasn't any. With only a 16% survival rate, lung cancer kills more people than breast, colon, and pancreatic cancers. There's a huge proportion of lung cancer that has nothing to do with smoking. I mean, I would say probably a quarter of lung cancer now has nothing to do with smoking. But oncologists treated Gary's case as aggressively as they could. On April 7th that year, doctors removed the affected lung. Gary then underwent intensive chemotherapy and radiation. Now, four years later, and down to one lung, Gary is cancer-free. I have effectively 60 to 65 percent of my original lung capacity which is pretty good. I'm able to bike to Duluth. Where he rides his bike this Saturday from White Bear Lake for the second year in a row, offering a breath of hope. Gary now raises money to help and inspire patients who suffer like he once did. To be that close to death and have it not happen, it's actually kind of cool. Now, as of January of this year, a screening for the disease has become available, but keep in mind, smoking is still the leading cause of lung cancer. Meantime, we have all the information you'll need about this weekend's Bike for Hope on the Fox 9 app and fox9.com. Randy, back oh, to you. And we wish Gary all the best. Yes, we do. Thanks, Iris.